Here we have 2011 to 2012 ZDO module. It has four cells inside in 2S2P configuration. And this one is from a 2012 AZDO. It also has four cells inside in 2S2P configuration. Uh, each cell has 32.5 amp hours. You can see the positive terminal, negative terminal, and center terminal on these modules and ZDO module has two different types type A and type B according to its terminal configuration. This one is from a 2017 40 kilowatt Nissan Leaf battery and it has eight cells inside in two 2S2B configuration. It's like stacked to older modules but it has much higher energy density because it has NCM cells inside which has 56.3 amp hours and you can see the terminals uh, or terminal orientation on these modules finally we have a module of a 2019 nissan leaf 62 kilowatt battery actually there are three different sizes this one is the tallest one and i'll remove the front cover so you can see the cells inside there are 27 ncm cells in 9S3P configuration and each cell has 56.3 amp hours. You can see all the cells are laser welded so it's not easy to do repairs on these modules. Now I'm going to do the insulation test on all these modules. To pass the test, the insulation resistance should be above 100 mega ohms. You can see it's 35.7 mega ohms. This module has failed the test. These type of modules cause isolation error in your vehicle. Let's test the AZDO module. The meter shows 550 mega ohms. This module has passed the test. Anyway, I'll probe on other two terminals. You can see the mega ohm reading. Let's test the 2017 40 kilowatt battery module. 550 mega ohms. This module also okay has passed the test i'll probe on each of these terminals actually it's not necessary to probe all these uh, terminals because the resistance between these terminals is in milli ohm range if there is no internal damage let's test the 62 kilowatt battery module the meter shows 4.19 mega ohms this module has failed the test you have to replace this module. 